Number one, Jenny Me just turned on my oven for the first time in my life. I did it. Well, I didn't do it like by myself. I had help. But it took us about 10 minutes to figure it out. We got it. We lit that bad boy. Jenny makes these things that are literally manna to my tongue. She's making them right here. It's called Christmas crack for you Americans. You probably know what it is. I've never heard of Christmas crack, well, but I like all it. all Americans. <laughs> yes. <laughs> if I haven't heard of it, that means nothing because Wendy doesn't cook. Or Market has dropped 350 points. Account went down $3,000. Hopefully, it's going to bounce back. But in the meantime, I had to go to Dairy Queen and get a blizzard. And then I went to McDonald's to get a chocolate sundae. And I eased the pain. It's like today when it's 32 degrees outside and your account drops 5% or so. It's rough. Here's to you, Mr. Market. For slapping me in the face. Yes, Christmas crack starts with saltine crackers. This is Paula Dean, ladies and gentlemen. You gotta talk with a southern accent, please. This is my Paula Dean. <laughs> this is the Paula Dean that I might can copy, okay? When it when it starts off with saltine crackers as the crust, I usually think I can handle it. And where the heck did you find toffee on the island? Well no, you make it. I'm making it. Oh you you're making the toffee? Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> I've never been so excited in my life. She's going to make homemade toffee. I you know you can make your own toffee. It's brown sugar and butter. I wanted to make um, better than brownies, but you have to have toffee. It's like the main ingredient to making amazing brownies. And I was like, oh, well, there's no toffee on the island, so, oh, well, I can't make that. Can't make it homemade. Donald, what happened, Robert? Well, I was going down 59, about 75 miles an hour, and all of a sudden, a deer hit me. Look at that. Oh, snap. Tow everything out the frame. Breeland, what are you gonna do about that? I don't know, I guess I gotta buy a new truck. You got one for sale? I got one for you, that old Explorer up there. I'll go get it. All right. I need to do some exploring anyway. And one cup of butter. Well, you're supposed to also put a little bit of vanilla and salt. And she's doing it the next way, not measuring. That's one cup. She's that good of a cook that she knows what that is. <laughs> I'm really good. Okay, so it just has to boil thick enough, it changes colors. Then I'm gonna put it over the saltines, put it in the oven for a few minutes, take it back out and put the chocolate chips on top, then smooth it over and pop it back in. Hey, it's fast. It burns? Like if you don't do it quick or what? Um, you know what, it actually doesn't. Well, that's good. It doesn't burn that easily, I guess. I like things that don't burn easy, because if there's like a way to burn, it usually burns me. Oh, it can burn in the oven, easy bake oven. She borrowed my Easy Bake Oven. The same size as an Easy Bake <laughs> Oven, for sure. So that's two sticks of butter, one cup of brown sugar, one fourth teaspoon of salt, vanilla. and some vanilla, in which I don't think it actually calls for that, but you know, if you want it to be extra good. I love vanilla, so I put like a tablespoon. It's a uh, late night tonight. I was gonna sheetrock and insulate this bathroom, but after looking in my storage unit, and I found a bunch of uh, 3 8 plywood that I haven't used in years. I haven't bought any material for this bathroom job yet. That's how much material I've had just laying around, but I decided to take a material challenge and see if I can make this bathroom without buying a single thing. So here I am with 3 8 plywood that came out of our garage from a remodel we did years ago. It needs to be gone over and painted and everything else, but there's that. And then this came out of our tiny home. It's OSB that was sheetrocked over. I use a similar piece for this little piece right up here. Found this insulation in a storage unit that I've been saving from an old project I had. Give it a little sound insulation from the person working at the desk here. They can't hear all your business. It's a mess and it's raining, it's cold. I'm ready to go to bed, get a shower, get this it's itchy insulation off of me, but I gotta put in these late hours so I can get home to my babies. My baby, Jiggly J, miss you. I realized that my thing is in celsius like way up here because you know we cook everything on 350 well actually 350 and celsius like way over here so yeah learn something new every day actually looked it up on the back of my cake mix that i make in my toaster oven and it says 175 degrees celsius and in parentheses 350 degrees fahrenheit thank you for catering to us americans changes colors and it's nice and thick looks like fudge and in the oven, even if I don't spread it evenly, the oven will spread it. This is a recipe that is so popular that I'm kind of surprised you've never heard of it. I can't believe either. Like, I feel like I've been missing out all my whole life. Okay, four minutes. Here we go. So we're just... Perfect. And 
then you just rub it in. This looks so healthy. I mean, like, saltine crackers covered in straight up love handle. I love it. I love it. Sugar and butter. I'm gonna just bake it. Yeah, I know. She just bake it, and then we will just, we'll call it on booty. All right, the five more minutes. And wickety wackety woo. Let your booty grow. It's 3.30 a.m. The rain finally stopped. We've got the wall board up. Looks like crap, because it's all salvaged wood. Once I put a cheap rock coat on it, it's gonna look good. That's another salvage panel. I knocked all the loose drywall off. Got the sink lip in the back now, so it'll fit. So is this the finished product, like it's done? Cool it in the fridge overnight for 24 hours or in the freezer for like 20 minutes and break it up and then it's all yummy. You keep calling it toilet paper. Oh, you're about foil. Okay. <laughs> I'm like, I've got tons of toilet paper, but I ain't putting it in my food. <laughs> you have legs, you can go. I don't have legs. I mean, I do, but you also have... That's not what you say to your mom. That's only what she says to you. Oh, Wendy's about to punch you. Go. Wendy's mama drama is about to come out on your face. You better run. Poor Jack-Jack over here. Well, we've been smelling a little goof, but we keep looking in there. There's nothing there, right? Well, I just looked in there again and realized that his, his diaper has crinkled up into his beauty crack, so he pooped around his diapers. And for some reason, Joseph doesn't want to change his brother's diaper. Because I change it every day. Yeah. And I don't get changed. You're not supposed to get paid for changing diapers. Nobody paid your mama for changing y'all diaper when you was a baby. All right, we're back at the office. I still gotta do some sheetrock on all these joints. But I did hang this door. Mm, got the vanity plumbed, connected to the plumbing. And you can see the water is backed up all the way to the slab because we're in this low spot. Well, that's the whole reason I needed to make that basin. The uh, automatic pump, which I don't have completely hooked up yet. Oh yeah. We got a door that opens and closes. And this is how you make your freezer look like it. I need to give me the pan. Oh my gosh. So hot. That is like gonna melt every single thing in the freezer. Just didn't make it. So I'm I'm gonna wipe whatever that is off and I'll eat it. Oh they're hot. They're very hot. Oh, they're good. They're good even before they get cold. Um, I mean, most of my taste buds are burned off now, but... This is called uh, Big Boda Candy. I said that you just eat it hot. I don't know why anybody trying to freeze it. On a cold winter day, you should eat these to warm you up instead of hot chocolate. It's 3.53 a.m. Just finished that uh, insulation and walling up the uh, bathroom out of recycled materials that I've had. Now, as a collector, I would say that today this stuff came in handy. I've been able to do most of the bathroom. I said a minute ago that I'd done the whole bathroom without any buys, but I did buy that sink and uh, the vanity base, but it's about the only thing. I've got a toilet, I've got everything else from my favorite place, Buck's Bargain Center. The best part of this day is the Bluebell Fudge Sickle. Okay, this is them out of the freezer and they're nice and hard and now we're just gonna smush them up and make bread out of them. Oh Lola, you're gonna be so pretty. See how pretty it is. Oh, Lauren's a pretty girl. Yes she is, aren't you a pretty girl? Now, I didn't spend all day doing that bathroom. I started on the bathroom at about 8 p.m. Gosh, that took a long time. Mexican crews make it look so fast when they get in there and just knock it out in 30 minutes. But they also have six guys. In a day, I get pulled in so many different directions. Like today, I fix a roof, I had to fix a subfloor and a mobile home we're trying to rent out. I have like literally six projects going on right now. I sold a car and I had to collect on the storage units in the middle of all that. So typical day is so scattered. It's like, sometimes I wonder if I had a chief aim, only one task, would I be more productive? I don't know. I didn't get bored. In the meanwhile, while mom's making that, I'm doing a surprise egg that I got, that I bought, not got. So here's what I opened. I smashed it in this Ziploc bag while it was in here. Look what, what was inside it. It's so cool. I've been pondering about it. Is it worth it to go through the hassle of uh, using plywood versus sheetrock? Could have gone and bought for $40. I don't know, hey, $40 saved. I had to put an extra hour and a half of labor in, but the insulation, 
That was probably another forty dollars. The ads of the Christmas bonus. Yeah, we'll chalk it up to sacrifice. The kids can have Christmas instead of buy sheetrock. Overall, long day. Start at six a.m. Here we are at four a.m. So, what I gotta do to get home to see my Jiggly J? I love you, baby. So, I'm gonna put the stickers on. Oh, he looks even cooler with this. Perfect. So here, you know, the stickers and everything. So just another reason I love a Honda Odyssey van. I know I get made fun of for driving a van. I don't know why it's such a prideful thing in the southern United States or in some parts of the world for a man to drive a minivan, but this is what I like right here. I can put all my tools out of the weather. I can carry a full four by eight sheet. I'm carrying six four by eight sheets of plywood right now. No problem. I can even shut my back door.